Hello, I am just going to show you how to use the Ukraine Volunteer Teachers Virtual Library. Um, somehow it accidentally got erased the first one, so I am re I just redid it today. So it's kind of updated as well. So the first page, you'll have the video that I'm making right now. I'll include this in the library and then you will just move to the right. And once you move to the right, you will see the library itself. And as you can see, there's a slideshow here, so you can use the arrow. And this explains to you how to use it. You're gonna read the table of contents. You're gonna click on it, uh, click on the, the title to go to that section. And then you're gonna click on the photo to either see the preview, the template, or you're going to see uh, the published slides. And, what you'll, and then if you want to make a copy, if it's allowed, you'll see over on the top right hand side, make copy, and that'll save that to your Google Drive so that you can edit and customize the lessons the way you see fit. So let's take a look. Here we go, we're gonna look here. This is the Young Learners Library. You will not be able to edit these slides. These come directly from my curriculum that is a subscriber's curriculum and I've donated 30 of them. So when you click on them, you'll see here 30 free lessons for ages three to 11. And then when you click on that, that'll take you directly into that library. And this here will then can take you to the different levels. And then to go back, you can just go back home. And then you can even do from here, and then you can see the there. So each one has 10, and these are 10 full lessons. And so there's actually 30 hours worth of lessons for this age group. So let's go back and let's look now. We have the May Library, and this is the one that's updated as well. And this one has 70 editable these are the ones where you're gonna find a lot of, oh, sorry about this, it's trying to move. Okay, so let's say you wanna do earthquake safety, you just click on it. And when you click on it, you can use it there, but if you wanna add your own uh, style to the library, that's fine. You can just do what's called use template, or you can use it here. And if you look here, these pictures are all clickable. They go to links. Uh, okay, apparently they did not allow them to use that link. So sometimes the links don't always work, but most of the time they do. And as you can see, they put it right there with no cookies. Uh, so there's no interruptions. This is a really good way to save your YouTube. And it, it goes right over and you don't even have any of the commercials. So if you like that one, you can just grab it and hit use template and you just click that and then all of a sudden you count three, two, one, and it's now yours and you can edit it in any way you see fit. Like if you found a link that was not working, you can add another link or just remove that book. And then you can add your own little bitmoji there. Like if you wanna take that one out, that's her read book. Okay, but that's all right. Um, um, that's her own site actually, so that's pretty cool. I wanna see where that takes us. Join her for story time. So she has all these books that she's reading. This is amazing. Thanksgiving read alouds, voting read alouds. So it's just amazing what you can see. And if you wanna edit it, you can in any way you want. Okay, so let's just skip over to another one. I would leave it the way it is. I love to give credit to the ones that have made them. So that is the May Library, uh, and then uh, this has been moving along, all along. So let's say I want to go back. Now I want to do a little bit of the other ones because these are these. You're going to see lessons from K through 12. So you'll find everything. So these two. This one has another additional 12, 1,260 slides. Then this is a trivia game. Uh, and this was created by me. You just gotta click it. It'll open it right up into the trivia game and you can play the trivia game with the kids. There's a lot of reading. You don't have to do the first part. The first part is just an introduction with me. So I would just skip that slide and just say, and go right into the lesson because this goes, this does a lot of the country. It gives them their quiz and it gives them the answers and videos to listen and a listening quiz again. So this is a cute lesson that I've done in the past. Okay, so let's go to the next one. And the next one is the virtual choice bird. The vir virtual choice bird will open you up to another genealogy. And this will just take you to all these different 
uh, virtual choice board let the kids choose where they want to go and there is a lesson for Ukraine right there so if you go over them you can just click it and that'll take you to the Ukraine and it can be watched right there and the kids absolutely loved this one okay and then let's go and look what else we have we have uh, respect uh, social emotional learning and this is for ages 9 to 17 again you click that that opens the lesson right up you can use it right there then you go to the next one and it is a caring lesson for ages 7 to 13 so it's a little bit cuter it goes a little bit younger but again you just click on it it'll open right up and then we have kindness is ages 13 to 17 then another famous trivia game and the last famous trivia trivia games which i've all used for the youtube channels but you can also use them in the classrooms and um i hope you enjoy the vir virtual library and then to get right back so that's what we have in there so i hope you enjoy the resources have a great day